and we are ready to start her next event of season two here this year. As you see, the Big Macs lead the points over water action. That is just the margin of action in points, 142 to 105 in the action. Let's see how they'll be doing here in her. Let's start off with Heath, number one of eight. Remember the rings, the center of the rings. Remember that. If you are tied, you will go to whoever marble is the closest to the center. See that blue ring outside is worth one. See that white ring in the middle is worth two. And there's, the, and there's like little red ring in the middle of that white ring. That's worth three. The middle of that red ring is worth five. You don't, you can't see the red ring, but it's okay. So those Turks so far has got one marble in the one, the, the one point ring. So it's one zero so far. See what the marbles can do here. That's the last marble for the Big Macs. Here come the Silver Sharks, and I think they're able to get this one. Yep, 2-0. That is your final score right there. So they will be advancing, and they beat the number one seeded Big Macs. Next, what action to Sapphires? What action to two seeded, 15 seeded Sapphires? We'll see how these teams go up. Remember, this is a bracket style, so it's like a Sweet 16. So water action, and so um, you, know, you advance to the next round if you win. It's time until you get to that final third place match, whatever. See collisions all over the place so far. Sapphire's almost to that one point ring. They didn't get their last marble for the water action. And they don't get any. Well, it looks like Sapphire's are closer to the center, so they're going to get the win after being tied at zero. They will win this. Sapphires will do it. Next up, the United States against Team Blood. The United States coming of a great performance last event. They are in the descending third. Team Blood standing 14th. United States starts us off. Their marble goes off to the side. Team Blood, will they get one? No. They that just barely rolls off. Oh. That United States that United States marble decided to well, that team side marble down goes back to the you know ring. And the states is still up for grabs here. That Limer is from Team Blood, just by the way. Because the US they has their hosts. Can they move on? They are the hosts this season. So like And I think that's one point for the US and they will score. So they got to the advancement ship placement. Over Team Blood. Next, Science takes on Brown. Four seeded, 13 seeded. But who will come on our top? Will it be the higher seed or will it be the lower seed? You know the lower seed, 13, higher seed, four. Science can they get their first marble on? They do. Same for Brown. See what the second Science marble does. Oh, he knocks them both out. Oh, that's that's crazy. He, he, just, he just dislodged both of those marbles out. So it's still... Zero piece locked up as you see the score at the bottom of the screen. Oh, uh, that Brown did not do very well for his, for his performance. Last Brown up, almost four marbles each. And Brown gets their one point in there. So they will win. Now, how about the small pullers in the frozen lakes? Frozen lakes trying to come off of a disappointing <laughs> event nine. Now, here they go. First one was a small pole. It's obviously the higher seeded goes first. But with the frozen legs out, the frozen legs out, they still keep going on from the left or the right side. Oh gosh, that mint for small boulders did not go well. Still zero. Nobody has went in the ring. And I don't think that will happen no time soon. All the marbles just went. And the small pole is just closer to the center. They'll be advancing. Next. What about Team Galactic against Forest? We got Forest, the 6 seeded. Team Galactic, the 11 seeded. We're going to see how this turns out. That team Galactic's been a team for years trying to win. That's what they're trying to be. Team for years. But no score yet. Team Galactic was trying to get one. Oh, that was a fast marble for Team Galactic. 
Don't been off and force nobody in the ring yet. Team Galactic, they almost got their mobile in the ring. Well, Forrest did. And they pushed Team Galactic into the ring, they did. And I think that will be it. Yep, it will. The Team Galactic has did it to beat out Forrest. Wow. Now, 17th, we got Lawnmower Festivals. Seven seated lawnmowers are taking them 10 seated festivals. What will happen here? I see how you see this start to off. Lawn, the captain of Lawn Mowers, is up first. Then here comes Broccoli. The vegetables. Yeah, they're going off to the side. A little bit. Two marbles to the front end, like where the ring is. Lawn Mowers almost got one on. They did not, though. Same for the vegetables. The vegetables got cabbage. That's their second marble, but just went down there. Oh, looks like the score is one apiece so far. Oh, that lawnmower almost got off the charts. But look at this. Lawnmowers are closer to the center. They will win. They beat out the tie. Finally, what about Space? They eight seated in the winter cash. He is nine seated. Who's going to win this one? Space or winter cash? Here we go. Space got the first marble ready to go. Both of them off to the side a little bit. One of them trying to get inside the middle. That's what you want to do if you want to score points. Get inside of the middle. And so far, Space is not doing that. They almost are knocking themselves inside the middle. That Winter Cashew did that, though. That was that was Cloud from Winter Cashews. The last Space goes down. No good. And I think it's a 1-1 one, one to peace. But Winter Cashews, they got it. They are closer to the center, so they got it. See the stands up the heat. Big Max getting a zero point in an event not good, so he won't be repeating for another medal in this event in, in this event. What action? Second place in the standings only gets one point. And good, not good for them too. So what action? They might be losing the second place match after this one. We'll see. Now we'll start our quarterfinals, starting with Solar Sharks and Sapphires, the lower seeding teams to get you started. 16 seeded Solar Sharks is taking on the 15 seeded Sapphires, who beat out the number one and two seeded Big Max of Water action in the heats. Like those are the first two heats up on the list. How did they beat how did they beat them? Nobody scored yet. It was Sun. There's, there's comes colliding gem for Sapphires. Well, sun, sun trying to uh, make make up for it. Oh, I don't know what that was. <laughs> Nobody did. Sapphires are the closest to the center though, so they get the win. United States, Brown, three seated and thirteen seated. Ooh, three seated and just ten more up. That's what the thirteen seated is. Yes. United States. They're the hosts, so see if the U.S. can do what they they did in the heat. I think that's Minnesota for the U.S. Brown got cardboard going down. Here's Michigan, the captain. Nobody scoring yet. That's three in the line for the U.S. And nobody scores, but I think the U.S. are going to be close to the center. Yeah, it looked like it. And yes, they will. The U.S. got him. We got Brown on spotlight there. Next is the small polders against Team Galactic. Team Galactic, they might have not uh, maneuvered their actions, but we'll see if they did. So I'll pull this other off. Team Galactic almost on that curling ring. It's just it's just a rush for them to get outside that curling ring. They're just they're just there. Our uh, bowlers knocking themselves off in this event. So far, Team Galactic has got this win because there's no score, but they're closer to the center. And that will be a win for Team Galactic, if not mistaken. It will. The small polters go down. The 11 seeded win out the five. Last quarterfinal remaining. How about the lawn mowers? Seven seeded. Nine seeded winter cash. He was taking on them. Who will win? They take our final spot 
into the semis. Vaughn getting up there. Now here's Nut, the captain of Winter Cashews. There go traffic. Oh my gosh, that was a big hit for the Winter Cashews. Cloud had a hard <laughs> impact. That's almost one point there for the lawnmowers, just by the way. They're close to that ring now. Everybody got three marbles, so one more marble just lodges. Will the lawnmowers win this one? Oh, no, wait a minute. The Winter Cashews got one on. Barely. And they will win at the last second. So they are the ones that will move on. See the standings after the quarterfinals right there? Non mowers, small pullers, bound to the sharks. Not good for Brown. So the sharks, they might move out of last place, depending on what happens within the other teams. We, let, let's just waste no time to get into the semifinals, though. This is going to be a tough one. Sapphires in the U.S. Our U.S. team still into navigation. Canada trying to get in there, but can't. They go ice the Sapphires. And the Marbles trying to bunch up with each other. Like, that is crazy. Marbles are almost close to the center. United, no! They cannot! The U.S. trying to get on there, but they cannot. They just rolled right off the edge. Nobody still scored. He's got it. Oh, still nobody. It's like the Sapphires are close to the center, are they? Oh, to win. Sapphires, yeah, they got one on. So they will be moving on to the final. Next. Semi-final on the way. Who will take on take on um the Sapphires? What would be Team Galactic or what would be Winter Cashews? Winter Cashews got one marble, but oh Team Galactic's like, I'm gonna get that marble off of there. That's that was great. That was that was that was that was, that was the intuition there. Team Lazica looks like they have one marble on. Now I think they do. They didn't count it yet. Still zero as a score. Locked up at the bottom of your screen there. Last marble for both. I think that's Team Lazica. They're closer to the center. They give you guys the win. So they will move moving on. Before we can hit the, hitch the final, we got the third place match. The U.S. takes on the winner cashiers. Three seeded and nine seeded. This these are two white teams actually. Who's by the way? The U.S. being our hosts, can they be able to take third away from Winter Cashews? Whoa, the Cashews say something about it. The U.S. is still trying to find a way to get on their coming right. They can't even do it. Canada just did that there. It just rolled up the ring. Nut was trying to go up a little bit. I think that's Minnesota for the U.S. Last marble for the Winter Cash. Oh, no, not the last marble. Winter Cash is barely have one point, though. I think that's enough to give them the win. They will get the win, so they'll get third. Now, who takes our final matchup? Will it be the Sapphires, the 15th seeded team? Or will it be Team Galactic? The 11 seeded team, as you can look at our zoomed in curling ring. Now, who gets all final? Team Galactic? No, oh my gosh. Had a story, the captain did not get that. Huh. I wonder exactly, I wonder exactly what happened there. Cold, on, cold is going on the side. Same for Ice with the Sapphires. Team Galactic working on their strategy right now. I think that was Gem that just made an impact there. Team Galactic, how did they bounce off the... I guess, I guess they did. Looks like it's for also both. And I think Team Galactic does not win it. Sapphire's got them. And that will conclude Curly. Amazing event. We saw a lot. Sapphire's going to get the gold. Team Galactic, the silver, an amazing job for the Winter Cashews to beat our hosts for bronze position. Let's look at our total. We're gonna look at our total standings right after standings after everybody for event ten. We saw the Big Max get a big fat zero in that event. Brown Solar Sharks all the way down to the Big Max. 
The United States move up to second place after that event. Just just over water. Actually, Big Mac still keep the lead. And look at that. So the Sharks at the bottom, they move out of last. Frozen Lakes are on the last there. We'll have ice skating. See you then. You marbles are crazy.